Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is November 4th. It is Thursday. I had to think about that one for a second. Uh, 2021. So my stone pile, as you see, is much, much smaller. And uh, we're going to get into the topic of this video here shortly. I wanted to show you uh, what I've been accomplishing first. So this is getting wider, obviously, and more flat. Uh, same over here. But uh, I, all the way around here now, all the way over there, you can see um, I wanted to build that whole area back up once again. And so, um, you know, and through here, uh, connected the path through to the dog run. Um, that goes all the way actually around the chicken coop and then over this way as well. But uh, then I did over here. So I, I want to add a few more over here, but... Uh, a lot of the stone that is remaining is going to go into uh, Becky and Mom's side of the uh, driveway. But I want to show you what I did down here. Uh, I put two loads of stone in here last night, and then I think I think it's either seven. I think it's seven that I put down through here already today. So I'm taking a break right now because I've had enough stone moving for the moment. But uh, basically. All this whole corner, um, I hit this whole corner. Now what I may end up doing, because it was soft through here, uh, I may end up putting, you know, another load in through this area and just trying to spread it out more. But uh, I added more stone up through here. But, you know, that's uh, definitely better for the driveway. That whole corner was muddy. Because um, I cut that corner when I come in or when I go out because that was not how originally it was designed. But now, there we go. So, um, but anyway, so that part of it is uh, is more squared away. So, all right. Um, so, this is what I wanted to talk about with you guys today. Uh, well, you can see, look at the, okay, so I'm going to show you this because I think this is bizarre. If you look at that. Look at how those lines are. Now, I want somebody to tell me how that's natural or normal. Uh, that was never, ever, ever, ever like that before. Uh, I've never seen that kind of thing uh, off of there. I think that's kind of interesting. So I just wanted to show you that and share that with you. Um, so, La Palma is going off, been going off for, what, about 45 days now? Uh, it's now the longest eruption of recent history uh, from the uh, eruption in 1971 and then another one in 1945. So this has been the longest running eruption. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. So what do we have in the Atlantic Ocean, right? We have the tsunami buoys, right? So we have the tsunami buoys um, <clears throat> out in the ocean to let us know um, if there is a potential for a tsunami coming so that they can warn people and they have that early warning system. So we have five buoys um, out there that do that. Oh, my, i got to show you guys this. I wasn't even paying attention. I got a pair. I'm going to go ahead and pick that pair, actually. Yeah, look at that. One pair. I think there was another pair on the other tree, but I don't think it's there anymore. No. So I'm actually going to put this in the house, and then I'm going to wait till that softens up, and I'm going to eat it. Because right now it's very, very hard. So anyway, sorry. Easily distracted. Oh, look, it's shiny. So we have uh, five buoys out there in the Atlantic uh, to tell us if, uh, you know, there is a tsunami coming and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys realize this. Right now, three are offline. One is malfunctioning, so only one of those buoys is working. Now, is it just me, or would you think, okay, Canary Islands, possibility that, you know, because of what's going on, that we could have an issue? Uh, wouldn't you think, hey, maybe, just a thought, that maybe we should have all those things working, those buoys working, to let us know if there is an issue? Right? Doesn't that make sense? I mean, you know, that's what they're there for. They're there to help us 
but when you have three are offline, one is malfunctioning, and only one is working, <laughs> that's frightening. That is uh, frightening. And uh, I want to hear what you guys think of that. I, I just, you know, is that acceptable? I mean, I, I honestly don't think that that is. I don't think that that's acceptable at all. Uh, I think that's something that needs to be addressed. I'm looking here in the driveway. And i got to show you this because, of course, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking at the same time. So we've had, you know, we had all the water. And it comes down the hill now. We have the swale back there. It goes around the back side of the chicken coop. Comes across. Floods out this area. Uh, floods out the front here. Right? And then it comes across and it goes down. Um, and there is a pond over there where it eventually runs off to. But I'm looking at this here is low. I'm thinking I'm going to need to put uh, one or two wheelbarrows of stone right in this area through here as well. Uh, just to make sure it's we're good. I want it to be squared away so that, you know, and give it time to get it packed down more uh, before the snow flies. Uh, I know that, like I said, on Mom and Becky's side, I got some stonework over there that I got to do um, as well. But uh, it'll come together. So I'll, I'll walk you over here, and I'll show you this pond. But anyway, um, I, I want to hear what you guys, you know, think about this. Do you think that it is okay that four out of five buoys, or three, like I said, three are offline, uh, one is malfunctioning, and only one is working? That is our early warning system if there is a tsunami coming, especially when you have La Palma has been erupting uh, this whole time. So the slope of the land, the water comes down and it eventually works its way uh, into this pond. Now this is not a freshwater pond, this is a gravel pond. So at some point they had cleared this out and what ends up happening, like when we have our drier season, I've seen this completely dry before. But obviously right now it's completely full uh, because we have had just such a tremendous amount of rain. And uh, so you're probably like, oh, so here's the road I'm talking about. You know, you're clearing out your stuff right in front of your road. Dead end dirt road leads down that way. That's a dead end. There's only a couple people that live down there. This one is also a dead end. See, everybody's got the private drive, private property keep out. Same all posted down through there. Um, this is not any through traffic um, at all through here. So the only people that utilize uh, these roads are the people that live here. And even on the main road, it says private road. Uh, the town does nothing for our road. Uh, we do it. So any maintenance that is done or any road work that is done, it's the people that live here. And that's it. So, but... Uh, Anyway, so a little chilly today. It is, uh, we did have more snow on the ground this morning. Uh, I think it's only maybe 36, 37 degrees out right now. And so you're saying, well, Ed, you don't have a hat on, you don't have a, a jacket on. I had my sweatshirt on earlier, and I did have a hat on earlier, but I got overheated working, so I took them off. And actually, I'm cooling off while I'm talking to you guys because I just finished up here uh, a little while ago. For now, I'm going to do a little bit more later, I think. Uh, it really just kind <clears> of <throat> depends on how I feel. But, uh, you know, just slow and steady. Uh, going to get this done. Once I get this gravel all finished, uh, then I'm going to work on... I got my pile of dirt out front here. And I'll show you that. I'm going to finish filling in these beds more because uh, they're settling down. That's what happens. And, uh, you know, each year, so even like over here, you can see how much lower that is. Because I dumped dirt on this side, but I'm going to have to put more dirt. So that pile of uh, composted cow manure is going to get put and utilized in all of these beds to fill them back up again and get them back where we want them to be for when the spring comes. So, slow and like I said, slow and steady. We got to roll up this wire yet. Uh, there's plenty to do. But, uh, like I said, I've just been focusing 
you know, finally that the rain has stopped and you can see it's looking much drier out here out front. Um, I got to cut up these vines yet. That's another thing that I have to do. And, uh, but you know, like I said, it's been a muddy mess. Um, and it's still not great. It's drier, <laughs> but we need a few more days for this to dry out more. Uh, you know, but again, it's that time of year. You got to deal with it, and that's what happens. But, uh, you know, when you get as much rain as we've had, you know, you have to prioritize. So I've been focusing on stone, uh, trying to get that done and uh, get that squared away. But we'll get there. We'll get there. And uh, so slow and steady wins the race, my friends. That's how it always goes with anything. Uh, I would encourage you again. I'm just going to let you guys know. I think that... Uh, you know, button up the things that you need to button up, get things squared away, what you need to get squared away. It is definitely a good time to do those type of things and important to do so. Uh, but uh, that's, uh, that's kind of where we're all at, I think. So anyway, um, real quick, I want to talk about my website, PrepperNurse1.com. We have the PrepperNurse1 community there, which is a resource that we have set up for you guys to connect with like-minded people. Uh, it is free to join. Uh, no credit card information is asked, but uh, you do have to register. And uh, once you're in and you can check out the message boards and all those type of stuff, there's a lot of good information there for you guys. Uh, also with that, um, on my website again, we have the Forefathers, which is the CBD and hemp store. So if you go PrepperNurse1.com, you'll see the logo for Forefathers. If you click on that, it will take you to their website. If you decide to make a CBD or hemp purchase, uh, when you check out, you can save yourself 15% on your purchase by using the discount code PrepperNurse1. So definitely take advantage of that as well. Last but not least, on my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you go in, you click on store, it will drop down, you will see Legacy Foods. We have the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods there. Um, again, it is 25-year uh, shelf life, GMO-free. Uh, it is vegetarian, but there are beef and chicken options that can be purchased separately. Also with that, uh, it is there are gluten options for people that need the gluten options as well. So, like I said, it's, uh, it's a good thing to have in your preps. Um, I have it in my preps. And it's also the largest portion size of any of the other freeze-dried food companies as well. So, something, like I said, something good to have. Um, you know, some d different varieties of things to do. So, that's a good thing. So, anyway, um, I am going to jump off of here for now. we got good sunshine coming in today. Uh, from the solar panels, which is good. It started out really, really overcast this morning. Uh, like I said, we did have snow on the ground again for the third day already <laughs> um, this month. But, uh, you know, that happens, unfortunately. It's that time of year, and uh, it is to be expected. But uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race, and as soon as we can figure that out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. If you stay positive and stay away from the negativity, you're going to be just fine. All right. I will see you all later. I hope you all have a great day. Uh, I will see you. I'll do a second video later this afternoon. All right. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.